Hi there, welcome to Tuesday's uh, video blog. Uh, it's been a regular thing now for uh, the last eight weeks. Uh, we're still doing this daily at the moment to keep you abreast of developments in terms of the response to the coronavirus. Um, and today, yet again, we have a, a guest presenter. Uh, I'm going to be joined by Gareth Williams, who is the cabinet member at the new Buckinghamshire Council looking after communities and public health. Uh, Gareth's been very focused over the last eight weeks on working very closely with both voluntary and community groups, uh, but also parish and town councils across the whole of Buckinghamshire, and he's very much the point person on this. Uh, today, Gareth's going to be talking to you about the new community boards, which have been set up across the entire new geography of the council area. These will be key links between the council, local residents and local par parish and town councils, uh, and they're playing a key role in the way in which we're actually coordinating the response to the the crisis at the moment um, and there will be funding available to help support localities on that so gareth's going to talk a lot more about that uh, just before i hand over to gareth i just wanted to cover a couple of points up front uh, first of all about testing uh, testing's been very prominent on radio and television um, i have referenced before that we've had testing sites in both wickham and aylesbury uh, there's a, another testing site setting up uh, over the next few days in buckingham um, and that will be from Wednesday the 13th of May, and it's going to be there for three days at the Swan Pool and Leisure Centre in London Road, Buckingham. Um, and you can apply if you fall into any of the categories that government now allow to be tested. So you can be on an age basis if you show signs of coronavirus or you think you might have, uh, if you work as a key worker and so on. Um, and it's very easy to apply. So if you go to the government web pages on testing, uh, you can click on a link and get through to apply uh, and we're going to be putting the information on that at website up on the screen as well. So you have that information uh, if you want to apply uh, just using the information on this on this blog. So that's really useful for you, hopefully. Uh, the second thing I wanted to say is there was a lot of publicity over the weekend about the Department for Transport launching a new two billion pound fund on what's called active travel. Active travel to you and me actually is things like walking and cycling. Uh, sometimes it's called sustainable travel or transport uh, and one of the things we're really keen on and I'm a you know, personally quite keen cyclist uh, is to try and capture some of the gains we've had over the last eight weeks where a lot more people have felt safe going out on bikes. Uh, I've seen families regularly out on cycles at weekends and during the week uh, and we want to try and capture some of those gains. Uh, so I'm asking teams to look at how we can bid into this government fund uh, when more details are announced. Uh, this might include, for example, more facilities to enable parking of bikes in secure locations. Uh, it might mean some uh, more cycle routes across the geography of the county. Uh, and, and it might involve one of the most exciting things, I think, is uh, the potential for trials of the new e-bikes, uh, which are a combination of both cycling uh, and a little sort of low power motorbike. Um, so I think there's some exciting stuff that we can be looking at. And again, we'll keep you posted. So having said that, I'm now going to hand over to Gareth. And he's going to tell you a little bit more about our community boards and the sort of funding that's available there for you. Gareth, over to you. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Martin. Uh, so um, we're here to talk about the uh, councillors' funds, uh, which has been an exciting uh, development uh, over this COVID period. Um, as you know, there are 16 community boards um, that we're setting up as part of the new Buckinghamshire uh, Council up and down um, uh, the council and ideally COVID would have come after we'd set up these boards um, but of course we've had to react pretty quickly um, uh, to the emerging situation so the budget for these boards is very significant it's going to be in the order of four million pounds uh, for local people in their area to decide the priorities for their local community uh, spread across um, public health uh, and community initiatives as well as um, uh, uh, transport and, uh, and other issues. Um, but once Covid broke out we realised we were going to have to get some of this money out more quickly uh, to respond and support the fantastic voluntary community groups and parish and town council initiatives uh, that we've seen up and down um, uh, the council. Uh, and I know you've had um, the volunteer groups yesterday, uh, Community Impact Bucks and um, uh, Martin from the Clare Foundation. Uh, and they've been what, a couple of the many groups that have helped us uh, throughout this, um, 
period. So what we decided to do was to devolve £250,000 of that budget uh, to the local community board areas. And that was going to be determined because we haven't got the full infrastructure set up yet by uh, local councillors. And you need to have three councillors um, who will put forward the projects uh, and then uh, if it specifically with pertaining to COVID emergency funding and we've, it's great so far we've been uh, we've identified £172,000 worth of that £250,000 um, a lot of it's gone on food as you might imagine uh, so helping with food banks uh, helping local delivery uh, of uh, whether it's takeaway meals or emergency funding for, for food uh, volunteer support groups um, in my own area in Chesham, the help for coronavirus, uh, we've spent the money on masks and on PPE uh, for the, those volunteers that are doing shopping. And there's quite a few groups as well uh, who we have approached and said, do you need funding uh, on the voluntary side in the villages? Uh, but some of them don't. Uh, mental health is another big area. Uh, we've also supported women's aid. Uh, we've supported physical activity. Uh, generally speaking, the projects are £2,000. Uh, occasionally, they can be more than that. Um, and the Rothschild Foundation has topped us up um, by another £50,000 in this fund, which we're very grateful for. And I ought to say that uh, we are coordinating our funding, uh, the response to coronavirus, uh, with Heart of Bucks, uh, with LEAP, uh, with the Rothschild Foundation and now also with the National Lottery um, and we're really working hard using the public health um, infrastructure and the, and the data uh, to determine exactly how we should respond uh, in the community uh, and what priorities whether it's uh, debt, whether it's mental health, um, whether it's potentially domestic violence, uh, obviously whether it's food. Uh, so we're trying to get strategies together um, and working with these various different groups uh, that will enable us to emerge stronger really as a community out of this. Um, but if you are a local community group and you haven't yet uh, tapped into these councillors' funds, then I'd urge you to contact uh, your local councillors and these will be people who were district councillors or county councillors but who are now obviously Buckinghamshire unitary councillors. They'll be aware of this fund um, and as I said, we've, we've supported a whole different range of initiatives specifically to do with those who are providing assistance uh, for the alleviation of the coronavirus symptoms. Um, and it's all part of this community board initiative, which will have nearly four million pounds. So I would encourage, it's been such a fantastic response uh, across the county. Um, uh, to, to with the community really coming together we've had over 1800 volunteers come through our um, as you heard yesterday uh, so we're really keen to galvanize this community spirit and take it forwards through these community boards uh, and you'll be hearing more about these uh, over the coming months uh, well, that's probably it for now martin uh, just a, a, a brief update but a huge thank you uh, to all the volunteers uh, and to all those people who have taken time out to lead these groups, we are providing this financial support. And you know, where necessary, we will um, we will try and um, ensure that people have everything they need to help our, our residents up and down the county. Back to you, Martin. Thanks, Gareth. That's great. And just again to re-emphasise just how important the community boards are, as very much the local touch and feel for the new Buckinghamshire Council in the areas where you live. Just before I sign off, um, one thing also I wanted to say um, was around the issue of country parks. Uh, I mentioned them yesterday and I just will touch on them briefly today. Uh, it is absolutely my aspiration that we reopen our country parks. Uh, the big ones that you'll probably have heard of are Black Park and Langley Park in the south of the county. There's also Denham Country Park and so on. Uh, and we've had to close those parks off uh, because they didn't count as essential travel. Uh, but we've always kept open the rights of way through those parks. Uh, I'm really keen that we reopen those as soon as possible. Uh, I hope to have more information on that for you tomorrow. So stay tuned uh, and hopefully we can st all start uh, enjoying those parks again uh, in, the, uh, in the near future. So having said that, uh, thanks for watching today. And as always, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you tomorrow.